Leader of the Opposition. Eight years, eight years of this Prime Minister, health care in Canada is broken. He's accomplished the impossible. He managed to double our national debt, adding more debt than all prior Prime Ministers combined, without improving health care. In fact, by his own admission, it is worse. Now, Mr. Speaker, will the Prime Minister finally take responsibility for the problems in health care he has caused so that we can fix what he broke? The Honourable Minister of Tourism. Facts during the worst pandemic in a century, the government of Canada transferred $72 billion to the provinces to make sure that we could get to the pandemic on behalf of record investments of $46 billion. Mr. Speaker, today, the Prime Minister and all of the premiers of this country are meeting to build a health care system that will be sustainable for the future. It's a great day for Canada and a great day for Canadians. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. After eight years of this Prime Minister, inflation is at its highest level in 40 years. In fact, the former finance Liberal Minister, Bill Morneau, said that the Prime Minister has spent too much. Another former, former Liberal Finance Minister, John Manley, said that these expenses are causing inflation. The current governor of the Bank of Canada has said that the government's spending is causing domestic inflation, and Mark Carney, the future Liberal leader, is, agrees with this. Can the Prime Minister accept the responsibility for the inflation he has caused so we can fix what he broke? The Honourable Minister of Innovation. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the Leader of the Opposition because, yes, we are going to take responsibility for all the investment we made in Canada, Mr. Speaker. On the Conservatives, we, for sorry, we forget that we've invested in science, Mr. Speaker, in biopharmaceuticals across the country. We, we did this the, for the first time in Canada. So I think that the Leader of the Opposition forgets the investment we have made in the automotive sector. I think the Leader also forgets the investments we made in green energy. We are going to continue to invest in Canada to create jobs of today and tomorrow. Thank you. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Investments in pharmaceuticals. He gave $170 million to a pharmaceutical yeah. operation that's shutting down, <laughs> which is a prime example. After of this prime, this prime Minister wasting our money. Inflation is at 40-year highs. And now, home heating bills have doubled. Seniors wonder how they're going to keep the heat on because this tax is going to be triple, tripled, and tripled under the NDP Liberal Coalition. Will the Prime Minister finally take responsibility for the misery he's put on household heating bills? And will he accept that we're going to keep the heat on to take the tax off? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, at the time we invested was to protect the health and safety of Canadians. At the time, Mr. Speaker, everyone in the country, and Canadians watching today, just watch this guy again. Everyone in this country understand that at the time we needed to invest in all families of vaccines. Today, Mr. Speaker, we're in solution mode. We want to protect the jobs of Medicago. We want to protect, obviously, the manufacturing facility and VIP. Mr. Speaker, Canadians know something out of the COVID. We have their back. We will continue to invest in the Canadian economy, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Canadians know that they don't have, this government doesn't have their back. The government has their hands in their back pockets. Yeah. That's what's happening. $170 million here for this uh, wasted investment, $54 million for the ArriveCan scam, and of course $2 billion invested in a company that doesn't actually exist. And who's paying for it? Well, people are now seeing the bills on their home heating, which has doubled. Higher gas prices. And of course, when you tax our farmers with a carbon tax and our truckers, they have to raise the price of the food that comes to our grocery stores. Will they finally back down from this crazy carbon tax scheme? Because we're going to keep the heat on until they take the tax off. The Honourable Minister for Families. from the Leader of the Opposition, but we don't hear a lot of solutions. On this side of the House, we're actually focused on making sure that Canadians have the support that they need. Whether that was at the height of the pandemic, when we made sure that Canadians could stay afloat, and guess what, Mr. Speaker, that's what the Leader of the Opposition is against. Or whether it is now, when we are reducing child care fees by 50 percent across this country, and the Conservatives voted against funding child care, Mr. Speaker. Or 
whether it's against whether it's the Ch Canada Child Benefits helping nine out of ten Canadian families, Mr. Speaker, we're there for them. Conservatives just aren't there for Canadians. Thank